Welcome to our live training session number 15. We're going to be tuning a Honda Civic Si using Honda to Flash Pro. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It's going to have a bone stock K20 Z3 engine, also a hybrid racing cold air intake, a Skunk 2 Alpha header, and a Tanabe medallion exhaust. We're going to be tuning this on 93 octane and again using Honda to Flash Pro for our tuning. So let's jump into our live training session so we can create the base calibration so we can get the engine fired up and begin our training series. Welcome to our live training session here with our 8th gen Civic Si. Let's jump into our Flash Pro Manager now so we can create our base calibration file. So moving up to the top of our software here, we're going to new calibration. We're going to be going and looking for a stock equivalent calibration file for this vehicle. And this is a 2009 Civic Si, so we want to make sure we select the correct model year here when we're choosing our calibration. So moving into model, we're going to find that we want to go in our list here. We're going to choose the 06 to 2011. And then in the vehicle, we can find right now defaults to 2006. We need to make sure we're on the 2007 to 2011. So if you have a 2006, you're going to be selecting that 2006 calibration specific. Um, otherwise, you're going to be selecting the 2007 to 2011. This is a 2009, so that's what I'm going to be choosing. And then we're going to go up to the top here. I'm going to go and select one of these stock equivalent files. So we can see stock equivalent or stock equivalent tuned. I'll grab either of these. Um, these are going to be the probably best starting point when you're creating a custom file, doing all your custom tuning. We're not going to be interested in using any of the other files here from Honda. They have specific intake files or uh, intake and catback exhaust files or files with cams. We don't need any of that. We need to start with a stock file and then go through the process I'll be illustrating in the video so that you can properly tune your vehicle. So it's not going to matter if it's going to have cams in it or if it's going to be full bolt-ons or the bolt-ons uh, you know, might have a short ram versus a cold air. All of the tuning procedure will be the same here. So we'll be sorting the fuel and ignition out as we go along. So again, I'm going to be choosing stock. So grab this file here. I'll choose stock tuned. I'll click OK here. And now my file has been opened up in my software. So now we're ready to program the details of this, things like our injectors or our map sensors or any other things in the background that's not going to be related directly to the fuel and ignition and cam angle programming. So first things first, this file is a mass airflow based file. So if we start this up, the car is going to be looking for the mass airflow and using that to do its calculations. Now, I find the 8th gen Civic SIs, um, or in 9th gen Civic SIs, but specifically the 8th gen as we're talking about them here, um, they run much better in speed density, where we're going to be eliminating the mass airflow sensor, and we're going to be looking just at the map sensor. Now, the, the map sensor still has to stay in place, or you have to replace it if you're going to get rid of it altogether with an intake air temp sensor. Um, it's just easier to leave it in place. It's not usually much of an issue. It doesn't hinder power. So normally if I'm going to be doing these, I just leave the mass airflow sensor alone and just know that I'm not using it anymore. I'm just using it for the intake air temp reference that's coming from the sensor. And then I'm relying solely on the map sensor alone. So speed density is the way that I'm going to be doing this and the way I always tune with these. So first things first, let's jump into calibration so we can go through and change all the details that are pertinent to this vehicle and switch it from mass airflow to speed density. It's actually really simple. So let's go 